In this video, I would like to show you how to change the speed of your project. And you do that right here down in the tempo line. Uh, you got this little field and you can just scroll around here. And if you don't see it, just right click here and make sure that the tempo and time signature uh, panel is activated. And then you can just scroll around here and uh, change the tempo. And now if we press play, we can hear that there's a very slow version of the song we are working on. <laughs> But as you could hear, this audio track here, this death metal scream, has not been changed, even though everything else is in order when we scroll the tempo wheel here. And that is because um, you gotta put this into musical mode. And the musical mode you can activate here in the info line. If you don't see it, click the setup info line thing and make sure that the musical mode here is activated so you can see it. And let's go back to the original tempo that we had. It was 155.2. When we now select this audio here and we press musical mode, it switches to musical. And now we can change the tempo safely. So I'll increase that and the vocal will be in place. So I switched back the tempo to the original value because I would like to show you another way uh, to change the tempo in a dynamic kind of way and that is by pressing command and T or control and T and then this tempo track editor here pops up and you can see on the left side here on the y-axis that there is a tempo indicator and you can see this gray line here and as you hover over this gray line here you can see that you can actually manipulate this here uh, there are a few different modes for this curve. For example, I selected ramp, which gives us a linear transition, but there are also but there's also the possibility to select step here. So then uh, this will be like a step and look like this. You will find that the tempo increases uh, as each of these steps get taken. <laughs> 